In the annals of human history, few inventions have played as crucial a role as the lock and key. These seemingly simple devices, often taken for granted in our modern world, have a rich and fascinating past, dating back thousands of years. Imagine a time long before sophisticated security systems when securing one's belongings was a matter of ingenuity and craftsmanship. Even in 4000 BC, civilizations like the Egyptians were already developing intricate lock mechanisms. These early locks, while rudimentary by today's standards, were ingenious in their own right. They served as a testament to the human desire for security, a need as fundamental then as it is now. From humble dwellings to grand palaces, the desire to protect one's possessions has been a constant throughout history. The evolution of the lock and key reflects our technological advancements and social values. Welcome to Timeline of Innovations, where we take you through a journey of how everyday things progressed. If you enjoy this video, please don't forget to like and subscribe. The story of locks begins in ancient civilizations where the concept of personal property and the need to protect it first emerged. Archaeological evidence suggests that the earliest known locks originated in Mesopotamia and Egypt around 4000 BC. These early locks, often crafted from wood, utilized a simple yet effective pin and tumbler mechanism. Imagine a wooden bolt secured by a series of pins of varying lengths. To open the lock, a wooden key with matching notches was inserted, lifting the pins to align with the bolt and allowing it to slide open. This ingenious invention represented a significant leap forward in security technology. Prior to this, securing one's belongings relied on rudimentary methods such as knots, barriers, or constant vigilance. The development of the pin and tumbler lock provided a more reliable and sophisticated means of safeguarding valuables. As societies grew more complex and trade flourished, the need for effective security measures became increasingly paramount. The evolution of locks and keys is inextricably linked to the development of human civilization itself. As societies progressed, so did the complexity and sophistication of their security measures. The Romans, renowned for their engineering prowess, made notable advancements in lock design, incorporating metals like iron and bronze to create stronger and more resilient locks. Roman engineers experimented with intricate key designs featuring serrated edges and complex patterns, making unauthorized duplication increasingly difficult. These advancements in lock technology were driven not only by the need to deter theft, but also to protect secrets and maintain privacy. Locks became symbols of status and authority, adorning the doors of wealthy citizens, government buildings and religious temples. The possession of a well-crafted lock signified not only material wealth, but also a sense of security and control in an increasingly complex world. The evolution of locks and keys provides a fascinating glimpse into the social, economic and technological advancements of past civilizations. Our journey through the history of locks takes us to ancient Egypt. Here, artisans crafted remarkable wooden locks. These locks used a clever pin and tumbler system. A large key lifted the pins, aligning them to unlock the door. Despite their ingenuity, these locks could be bypassed with effort, yet they marked a significant advancement in security technology. As we move eastward, we arrive in Mesopotamia, the cradle of civilization. In this land of bustling cities and thriving trade, security was paramount. Mesopotamians developed unique metal locks showcasing advanced metalworking skills. The pin lock made of bronze was their most notable invention. Keys had holes matching the pins, allowing the lock to turn. These durable locks reflected the importance of security in trade. The ingenuity displayed by the ancient Egyptians and Mesopotamians in their development of early lock and key mechanisms is truly remarkable. These ancient civilizations, separated by geography and culture, independently arrived at similar yet distinct solutions to the universal human need for security. Their innovations, 
born out of necessity and driven by a desire to protect their possessions, laid the foundation for the development of lock technology in the centuries to come. What is particularly fascinating is that the basic principles behind these ancient locks, the interplay of pins, tumblers and keys, continue to inform the design of many modern locks. While the materials and manufacturing processes have evolved significantly, the fundamental concept of using a shaped object to manipulate internal components to secure and unlock a mechanism remains at the heart of lock technology. As we delve further into the history of locks, we will see how these ancient innovations were adapted, refined and built upon by subsequent civilizations, leading to the development of the sophisticated security devices we rely on today. The Roman Empire, known for its vast reach, also revolutionized locks and keys. Roman engineers embraced earlier lock designs, adding their own innovations. They secured military outposts, government buildings and wealthy homes. Masters of metalworking, Romans used iron for durable locks. This allowed for intricate and complex designs. They developed the tumbler lock, a precursor to modern locks. Roman keys featured serrated edges and multiple locking points. The Romans advanced warded locks creating intricate wards and keys that required precision craftsmanship. These locks secured homes, shops and military storehouses across the Roman Empire. Their complexity showcases Roman metal workers' skill and artistry. In Roman society, as in many civilizations throughout history, locks served a purpose beyond mere security. The possession of well-crafted, elaborate locks became a symbol of status and wealth. Wealthy Romans adorned the doors of their villas and townhouses with ornate locks, often made of precious metals and embellished with intricate designs. These locks served as a visible display of their owners' affluence and their commitment to protecting their valuable possessions. Beyond their practical function, Roman locks also took on symbolic meanings the key in particular became a powerful symbol of authority and control. The head of a household, for instance, held the keys to the home, signifying their role as protector and provider. Similarly, emperors and high-ranking officials often carried elaborate keys as symbols of their power and legitimacy. The evolution of locks in Roman times reveals a fascinating interplay between technological innovation, social customs and artistic expression. Locks were not merely utilitarian objects, but also reflected the values, aspirations and power dynamics of Roman society. As we move forward in our exploration of lock history, we will see how these themes continue to shape the development and significance of locks in different cultures and time periods. The medieval period was an era of remarkable innovation and artistic flourishing. Medieval craftsmen created locks of astonishing complexity and beauty. These locks were testaments to their creator's skill and artistry. Guilds guarded their trade secrets and ensured high standards. Locksmith guilds safeguarded valuables of churches, merchants and nobility. Apprenticeship ensured only skilled artisans practiced the trade. This elevated lockmaking to an art form. Medieval locks featured intricate designs and multiple metals. Iron was primary, but brass, bronze and silver were used decoratively. Engravings and filigree transformed locks into works of art. Ornate locks secured valuables and projected wealth and sophistication. The status of locksmiths in medieval society was elevated by the specialized knowledge and meticulous craftsmanship required for their trade. Unlike other artisans, Locksmiths possessed a deep understanding of intricate mechanisms and the properties of metals. They were not merely skilled craftsmen, but also inventors and problem solvers, constantly seeking new ways to improve the security and artistry of their creations. The creation of a medieval lock was a labor-intensive process that demanded both technical skill and artistic vision. Locksmiths began by forging the lock body and internal components from iron, carefully shaping and fitting each piece. They then used a variety of specialized tools, including files, chisels and gravers,
to create the intricate wards, slots and keyholes that defined the lock's security mechanism. Finally, they would embellish the lock with decorative elements, using their artistic talents to transform a functional object into a thing of beauty. The artistry of medieval locksmiths extended beyond the locks themselves to the keys they designed. Keys were no longer simple utilitarian objects, but became miniature works of art in their own right. Medieval keys were often elaborately shaped, resembling animals, mythical creatures, or even miniature weapons. They were adorned with engravings, filigree work, and precious metals, reflecting the status of the lock they opened and the wealth of the owner. The medieval period witnessed a significant increase in trade and travel, which in turn fueled the demand for portable security solutions. Padlocks, which had existed in simpler forms in earlier civilizations, became increasingly common and sophisticated in medieval times. Their compact size and versatility made them ideal for securing chests, strongboxes and other valuables on the move. Medieval padlocks employed a variety of locking mechanisms, including spring-loaded bolts, rotating discs and even early versions of combination locks. The design of padlocks allowed for greater flexibility and portability compared to fixed locks. They could be easily attached to a variety of objects and transported as needed, providing travellers and merchants with a reliable means of safeguarding their possessions on the road. The craftsmanship of medieval padlocks often rivaled that of their larger counterparts. Locksmiths took pride in creating padlocks that were not only secure, but also aesthetically pleasing. Many medieval padlocks featured intricate designs, decorative engravings, and the use of multiple metals, transforming them from purely functional objects into miniature works of art. The widespread use and artistic embellishment of padlocks in the medieval period highlight the growing importance of personal security and the evolving role of locks in a society on the move. The Industrial Revolution transformed lockmaking, shifting from skilled artisans to mass production. Steam-powered machinery made locks more accessible and affordable. Skilled locksmiths adapted to overseeing specialized teams. This efficiency democratized security, impacting society profoundly. The Industrial Revolution brought standardization to lockmaking. Mass production required interchangeable locks and keys. Uniform dimensions ensured compatibility. Specialized tools produced precise components. Factories produced thousands of identical locks. Standard parts simplified maintenance. Standardization impacted the security industry. Locksmiths adapted to new challenges. They developed new skills and techniques. This led to advanced lock designs. Standardization revolutionized lockmaking. But uniformity posed security risks. Ongoing innovation remains crucial. The Industrial Revolution was an era of material science advancements. New metal alloys and metallurgy opened possibilities for lockmakers. They experimented with steel to enhance lock strength. Steel's strength to weight ratio allowed for compact, strong locks. This led to smaller, portable locks like padlocks. Precise steel composition made locks resistant to forced entry. The era also fostered mechanical innovation. Engineers devised new, complex lock mechanisms. Simple locks evolved into intricate designs with gears and springs. The pin tumbler lock was a notable innovation. It used spring-loaded pins for enhanced security. Only a precisely cut key could unlock it. The pin tumbler lock marked a turning point in lock making. As we stand at the cusp of the 21st century, the evolution of locks and keys has taken a dramatic turn, propelled by the relentless pace of the digital revolution. The familiar sight of metal keys is giving way to electronic locks, controlled by digital codes, biometrics and smartphones. This shift marks a new era in security, offering unparalleled convenience and flexibility. We can now unlock our homes and devices with a keypad, fingerprint or voice command. Digital locks also provide enhanced security through encryption and tamper alerts. Despite challenges like hacking and power outages, ongoing research aims to improve digital lock reliability. 
The future of security is digital, evolving to meet the needs of our interconnected world. As technology advances, the future of locks and keys promises sophisticated and personalized security solutions. Biometrics, using unique biological characteristics for identification, will play a prominent role in securing our world. Fingerprint scanning is gaining traction in physical security appearing on homes, offices and safes. Iris scanning, voice recognition and facial recognition offer highly secure means of authentication. AI and machine learning are pushing the boundaries of security, analyzing data to identify threats in real time. Ethical considerations are crucial as we integrate AI into security, balancing protection with privacy. From ancient wards to digital codes. The journey from ancient Egyptian wooden locks to futuristic biometric systems showcases human ingenuity. Locks and keys mirror our technological advancements, reflecting our evolving understanding of materials and mechanics. From medieval wards to digital algorithms, the principles remain. Control access, protect valuables. While tools have changed, the motivations remain constant. Protecting loved ones and possessions transcends time and culture. From peasants securing belongings to corporations protecting data, the need for security is timeless. The story of locks and keys is a human story of innovation and craftsmanship. It connects us across time and culture. As we unlock the future, we carry the legacy of countless innovations. That concludes our journey on this episode of Timeline of Innovations. Please like and subscribe and don't forget to hit the bell button to be notified of upcoming episodes where we venture into another journey of the progress of everyday things.